scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. There are people watching me who are saying, Apostle, I love the Lord, but he's called me into the healing ministry, but I'm, I'm not seeing the power of God move in my life to that effect. There are people who are saying, Apostle, I know that there is need for a dimension of the grace of God. I'm tired of suffering, tired of hardship, tired of all of these things. Listen, truly speaking, I tell you, it is not the economy or the condition of men that define your portion. It's the possibilities that the grace of God provides for you do you know why we contend for these impartations and all of these things it is not so we can be purported as great men and so on and so forth no no not at all the goal of everything we receive I have to say this before we begin to pray there is a purpose purpose is what gives value to all of our spiritual pursuit that the purpose for the anointing is not just to be a man of God MOG and then move around you know in pride and all of that not at all it is so that we can be equipped to be effective at revealing the glory and the name and the power of Jesus and then bringing glory to the results that we command to him so my prosperity my increase my results it is that are activated in my life the bible says that um um how, how, how does it say it again in, in a very very powerful way it says he that told you have not asked for anything then it says ask that you may receive that your joy may be full and remember the bible says when you see righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost coexist it means the kingdom of god has come it has found expression God wants to bring joy to our lives. God wants to roll away reproach from our lives. God wants to bring us into a life of honor and glory. I, I said in, the, in, in my previous broadcast that we do not serve God because of things. Never, never. We don't serve God because of cars, because of houses, because of all of these things. However, that he has decided to be benevolent, that while we serve him ultimately because we love him, there are provisions, tokens of his love, scattered around our experience with him so that in experience our lives will show that we are partakers of his divine nature we are going to be praying right now thou anointed my head with oil listen i want you to be tired of where you are i want you to be tired of your current level there is no point you see when you do not see a need for the ministry of the spirit upon your life to take you to higher dimensions um this teaching may just be like a nuisance to you and it may look like oh what do i really need the anointing for but let me tell you my dear brother my dear sister parents uncles colleagues and 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 all who are following let me tell you you need the anointing of the holy ghost in your life especially if you are in ministry especially living in today's world you will never be able to rise to certain supernatural dimensions until the investment of the spirit is upon your life I look at the things that God is doing through my life today and is is, is is something that let the name of the Lord be glorified but it is proof that what is upon you will truly govern what is around you 
what is upon you the grace the empowerment that comes upon you is what governs everything around you we are going to pray Philippians chapter 4 please from verse 6 and 7 I like us to pray if you are in the church there and you can stand please stand it's time for us to pray we have but a few minutes together the Bible says be careful for nothing the word careful there means be anxious for nothing he's talking about anxiety Nigeria hear me New Heritage Baptist Church the body of believers the pandemic and um, many things that have come along with it has is brought a lot of anxiety to our lives people are anxious what will tomorrow be the economy finance people have lost jobs and all of that and i truly truly understand and i sympathize with all those who have had to go through all kinds of things especially at this time but the bible says be anxious for nothing then it tells you what to do instead it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests let your concerns be made known unto god god wants to know the things that give you concern verse 7 it says and the peace of god hallelujah which surpasses all understanding it says let it keep your heart and your minds through christ james chapter 4 please and verse 2 very powerful apostle james was teaching us why we do not have this ye fight and war yet ye have not and the simple reason is because you ask not he says you have not not because god cannot give you have not because you ask not tonight within the few minutes that we have we are going to ask for certain things lift your voice in one minute and begin to thank him Lord I thank you for opening me up to the understanding of the systemic character of God that by engaging faith by engaging um, the prophetic by engaging impartation i can come into a point where my life begins to command strange results and activate divine possibilities is someone praying all over the nations of the earth begin to pray new heritage baptist church pray men women children parents lift your voice in one accord and let's cry to that god that answers all prayer Lord, we thank you. We thank you in the name of Jesus for the privilege. The privilege that you have given us to come boldly that we may obtain the grace that is required for the time of need. Now, I'd like you to pray and you are going to ask the Lord. Listen, listen, let me establish this prayer point i like you to declare unto God, Father, I believe in the ministry of the prophetic. And I believe that as words come by the Spirit, I do not just receive them as words of a man. I don't just receive them as words of a preacher. I open my heart sincerely not above Christ and not above the word of God, but in compliance to your character and the systems you have put for my lifting. I receive these words and I declare that they will work for me. Please lift your voice and pray. Lord, I receive, I open up my heart sincerely to receive of the ministry of the prophetic. I am tired of this level. I believe in the creative power of prophecy. Its ability to shift me to realms untold. Its ability to shift me to dimensions never experienced job said there is a path which no fowl has seen the whelps of the lion has not gotten there i like you to believe god release your faith in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the last prayer point and then i begin to minister you're going to pray impartation is very powerful the transference of possibilities such as i have peter said give i unto you in the name of jesus of nazareth rise up and walk there are men who have things and god distributes those anointings in and through men i like you to pray look at the areas in your life where you know you have not seen results the areas in your life where you desire genuine results i like you to cry with a desperate heart like blind bartimaeus i like you to be 
begin to pray, Father, the grace that controls this dimension of results, I receive it. The grace that controls favor, I open up my heart to receive it. The grace that controls supernatural supplies, I receive it. The grace that controls the ministry of men, I receive it. The grace that controls speed, the grace that controls spiritual hunger. You don't just hunger after God like that. No, there is a grace that comes upon you by the Holy Ghost that makes you to love God beyond money, love God beyond ministry. It provides a hunger in you that nothing else can quench. There is a grace that stirs up revival. You may be a man of God praying and say, Lord, the grace I need for the word, the spirit of revelation. There is an anointing that causes this word to open. It's not just because you open the Bible that um, it means you will just find things there. No, your eyes must be washed with eyes half and God will grant you that access. Pray, lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shabbat sobrandi gazuzia haskala barusia. There is a grace that makes for exemption that when the vicissitudes of life and the tides of life begin to, you know, become boisterous before you, there is a grace. There is a grace that distinguishes you because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. Very important. Hallelujah. Now very quickly, we're going to do it this way. Um, I like you by faith. I'm going to give you one minute, everyone, very quickly. Lift up your prayer request in your home, everywhere you are. New Heritage Baptist Church, um, if the prayer points are before the altar, that's fine. Or whatever uh, um, channel, whatever channel it is that you have, just, just make sure your heart is released. New Heritage Baptist Church, you can stretch your hands towards the altar by faith and every other person you can just lift your prayer point and in the name of jesus stretch it towards me as i stretch my hands back by faith listen i'm an ordinary man there is nothing unique about me in myself but because of the investment of the grace of god a portion for this season this time this dispensation we have become by the privilege of his grace stewards of this mystery and there is a throne that backs what we represent it's not just empty talk stretch your hands believe by faith raise your prayer request father in the name of jesus i decree and declare first over new heritage baptist church in the name of Jesus and then oh God I pray over all who are connecting by faith from the United States of America to England to Nigeria to Ghana to Kenya to South Africa and even here within the nation in the name of Jesus every city every state I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus and I declare supernatural miracles in the name of Jesus I declare supernatural miracles let the angel of your presence in the name of Jesus begin to go to homes right now I speak by the power of the Holy Spirit miracles in homes in the name of Jesus I break the bands of wickedness Satan I decree and declare by the spirit of faith that your reign and your dominion over every family of concern is terminated in the name of Jesus I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit the mystery of the blood every legal access that Satan has had hitherto over families over businesses over ministries over churches over men and women of God I stand in the name of Jesus and I declare it is broken by the blood of the eternal covenant in the name of Jesus anyone appointed to death I declare that death passes away from your life in the name of Jesus the fullness of your days you will fulfill in the name of Jesus I pray for every dying ministry hear the word of the Lord I speak to you come back to life in the name of Jesus I pray for every family that is going down going down in the name of Jesus I declare that you continue to come up in Jesus name everything that does not represent the counsel of God I come against it in the name of Jesus Satan the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit I like you to begin to declare over your request father I stand in faith and I declare that everything I have written will return as a testimony someone praying lift your voice and begin to pray 
Lift your voice and begin to pray. Genesis 21. Lift your voice and begin to pray. 21 verse 1. Please lift your voice and begin to pray. Kapo Sabranda Gadoziata. Lord, that which I have written will never, never have to be rewritten again. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the Spirit of God supernatural miracles. The Bible says in Genesis 21 and verse 1, And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Very interesting. The Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and then the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. So he said it first and he did it. I'd like you to pray. Father, you have said it. Now do it. You have said it through the mouth of your servant. Now do it. You have said it through the word. Now now do it in the name of Jesus. Do that which you have declared that will happen in my life, in my family, in my finances, in my spiritual life. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your voice and pray. 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 I'm praying for you now from the depth of my heart. I'm praying for you now. I'm praying for you now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for you now now before I pray on the anointing oil I just sense a very strong healing anointing here right now I know that the Lord wants to bring supernatural miracles and please listen to me as I pray for you the power of God is going to touch you and I want you to share your testimony you can use the social media platforms especially for New Heritage Baptist Church let them know what God is doing in your life right now please I want you to lay your hands right now everywhere in your body you're trusting God for a miracle it could be your head it could be your abdominal region if it's a part of your body you cannot easily touch just lay hand on lay your hand on your chest right now I want to pray for you thank you Jesus my God there's such a strong anointing in this place in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I declare right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name I rebuke sickness I rebuke infirmity I rebuke sickness in the name of Jesus I rebuke blood diseases hear the word of the Lord I rebuke you in the name of Jesus I rebuke tumors I rebuke cancers in the name of Jesus I rebuke HIV I rebuke bone conditions in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke respiratory conditions in the name of Jesus begun by the power of the Holy Spirit there's someone you are having a severe pain around your ears in the name of Jesus I speak to you right now by the spirit of grace be healed you can hear it's not like you cannot hear but there's severe pain I declare that pain leaves now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone is like you have stroke it's like you have stroke I cause that stroke in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ there is a lady I'm seeing it's like you have a lump around your breast area I'm declaring to you the moment I pray right now check yourself you will find out that a miracle has happened in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle for you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus there's someone you are watching me right now the anointing of the Spirit is coming upon you you are a minister of the gospel but the Lord is saying he's introducing certain graces in your life you have been fasting and you have been praying you didn't even know about this broadcast until this evening right now I'm seeing a strong anointing upon you and the Lord is saying he's opening you up to a very strange teaching ministry it's a prophetic dimension of the teaching grace and you will minister with power genuine authentic spiritual power in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare to everyone who is sick be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now heart palpitations I curse you in the name of Jesus diabetes be healed in the name of Jesus peptic ulcer I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed heart conditions of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus Jesus. 
There is a woman you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for nine years. You are following right now for nine years. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you prophetically. According to the time of life, return with your child. You are going to have a baby boy. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy this by the power of the Holy Spirit. My God will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a, I'm seeing two ladies, you are watching, you have what we call the issue of blood. Whether it's your monthly period or not, you, you continue um, to have that, that severe issue of blood and, and it's a serious thing. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hand right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be made whole this moment. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I bring you the life and the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Now, be healed right now in the name of Jesus there's someone you just fell under the anointing right where you are watching the power of God just came on you as you stand up now you will find out that the pain around your back area in the name of Jesus it is gone now and gone forever gone now and gone forever in the name of Jesus gone now and gone forever I'm seeing a man you are a pastor you are a pastor and you are not watching this now but next week Tuesday you are going to be watching this video you are not yet watching it now but next week Tuesday you are in the US you are going to be watching this video and in the name of Jesus the pain that you have and around your limb area by the time you are watching this video and receiving this prayer you will marvel and wonder at the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus let there be supernatural healing for you supernatural healing supernatural healing by the power of the Holy Spirit supernatural healing in the name of Jesus one of the mothers I'm seeing the Lord is showing me a vision one of the mothers in New Heritage Baptist Church your daughter is sick I don't know what the problem is but this is something that has to do with it looks like it's a, it's a, a, a condition that has to do with blood in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I declare let there be a miracle right now I forbid death I forbid death in the name of Jesus death by accident in the name of Jesus and I use this opportunity to minister to you in addition to all the efforts that our doctors and nurses and all the medical personnel continue to to bring to the table to help ward off the coronavirus I declare by the spirit that you are exempted in your going out and in your coming in you have no covenant with death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now very quickly I want you to lift up your bottles of anointing oil and for the church there I'm going to pray on the oil once I pray on the oil then even when the broadcast is over you can just anoint yourself by faith listen the miracle is not in the oil you can put oil on your head and nothing happens uh, it is not the ritual it is the faith in the Word of God the faith in the principle of the kingdom that empowers that oil lift that oil stretch it towards me if you can father in the name of jesus there are probably are thousands of oils lifted by faith in the name of jesus may the power of the holy ghost step upon that medium that oil as a point of contact and lord i pray that as your people apply that oil by faith according to the provisions of scripture let it bring breakthroughs oh god let it bring miracles let it bring signs let it bring wonders in the name of jesus let this oil be an oil of judgment over wickedness let this oil in the name of jesus be an oil of faith let this oil be an oil of speed let this oil be an oil of lifting in the mighty name of Jesus I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost let there be miracles as you apply this oil in the name of Jesus let there be all kinds of supernatural miracles in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I like us to pray prophetically over new heritage baptist church over the man of god over the membership all over the world in the name of jesus lift your voice in one 
accord and let's pray for new heritage baptist church we decree and declare your path is as a shining light shining ever brighter even unto the perfect day we decree and declare you have no covenant with death we forbid you from being small you will continue to manifest the glory of god in that church the least among you becomes as great as david in the name of jesus the old and the young alike you are blessed in the name of jesus the fullness of your days you will fulfill i bless you with the blessings of heaven we join forces as believers online capture through the mystery of the cloud and we speak over your life new heritage baptist church go from glory to glory all the churches and ministries connected to you we declare they are experiencing the power of god we pray for the pastorate we pray for the deaconry the eldership in the name of jesus experience the lifting power of jesus let there be such dramatic testimonies in this church even beginning from tonight in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare that you will experience the grace of God supernaturally in the name of Jesus now I have a few minutes before we round up I believe with all my heart that the love of Jesus and salvation is the greatest miracle of all it doesn't matter what breakthrough you have received and you will receive if you are not saved, genuinely saved, born again, then you are robbing yourself of the opportunity to experience the life of God. The Bible says when the spirit of truth comes, that he will reprove the world of three things, of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. It is true that God will not condemn you no matter what it is that you have done. That a broken and a contrite heart, oh God, you will not despise. But at the same time, you must be intentional about making that decision. And someone following, watching me right now, the Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Listen to the voice of this preacher. That it's time to win that war of destiny. You're saying, Apostle, I truly, truly am at a point in my life where I need Jesus. You may have been in the church. Being in the church does not equal salvation. Even being in ministry does not equal salvation. Being a successful person does not equal salvation. Being prosperous does not equal salvation. Wherever you are, it is my joy and honor to lead you to Jesus Christ. And I want you to pray this prayer. Let it be from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus is right here and Jesus is right in your room, the church, wherever you are. If there are people in the church, a New Heritage Baptist Church, I'd like you to signify by just lifting your hands to heaven. And if there are other people's scattered across i like you to just believe you can go on your knees if you want you can stand you can lay your hand on your chest i'm going to lead you to a prayer and at the same time there are people who may say lord i love you but for some reason my life has gone haywire and i need restoration i need to come back to you sincerely i'd like you to join this group as we pray say after me dear lord jesus i love you with all my heart and i believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you